So I want to talk about your GameStop report, but I have to start with Bitcoin. We've got a raft of cheering people down here from ProShares. The ProShares uh, Bitcoin ETF, the futures ETF, is starting trading. Just started a few moments ago. I have to ask you, can you, can you explain to our viewers why you chose to allow a Bitcoin futures ETF to begin trading, but have not yet approved a regular Bitcoin ETF? Um. Bob, thank you for that question. Uh, just to give you a little context, I think that we in the official sector uh, should be uh, technology neutral, but not policy neutral. And so what we're trying to do is ensure to the best we can within our authorities to bring uh, projects into the investor protection perimeter. And so what you just mentioned, uh, Bitcoin futures, have been overseen by our sibling agency, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which I was once uh, honored and proud to serve there. And that's been four years. And uh, some of these applications came in and went effective, as you said, one of them went effective uh, with regard to those uh, products over at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange that our sibling agency oversees. I think the important thing here is you've made it clear in the past that this does not have the, some of the concerns that approving a full Bitcoin ETF would have. You don't have people breaking into exchanges, for example. You don't have problems with fraud uh, or manipulation. Was that a factor? It seems that that was a factor in the fact that you went ahead and allowed the Bitcoin futures ETF. You don't have those particular problems here. Well, well I'm not going to get into any one application or project. I think what you have here is uh, uh, a product that's been overseen for four years uh, by a U.S. federal regulator, the CFTC, and that's being wrapped inside of something that which is in, within our jurisdiction called the Investment Company uh, Act of 1940. So we have some... Uh, ability to bring it inside of investor protection. It's still a highly speculative asset class, and uh, listeners should understand that uh, underneath this, it still has that same uh, aspect of uh, volatility and speculation, uh, but there's uh, our sister agency has overseen this uh, for four years. And then it brings it inside, as I said, uh, an 80-year-old law here at the SEC. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.